Thanks, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker. Given the minister now classes 10 per cent seats as marginal, it's an interesting reflection of how much trouble they think they're in. Um, given the splendour of, given the splendor of uh, Prime Minister Abbott's uh, great work in leading your uh, government, um, I rise to speak on behalf of residents I represent in this place to voice their and my concern about the way in which SBS managed the production and promotion of its program, Struggle Street. Uh, last week in the House, I raised my concern that the production company responsible for Struggle Street, Keo Films, failed to obtain informed consent of the program participants. These were experienced filmmakers and TV broadcasters dealing with inexperienced and vulnerable participants who weren't provided with copies of the release forms once they were signed. Participants who were not offered independent legal advice before consenting to be filmed. Is he concerned by the ethical breaches I outlined in the House last week? Has he raised these breaches with SBS? Does he intend to follow this matter up? And can he report back on the outcome of these inquiries? I also asked the minister if he supports the actions of the public broadcaster in threatening legal action directed entirely to the mayor of Blacktown City Council uh, action that, again, concentrates on the individual, not on the council itself, because the mayor da dare raise serious concerns about the way the program was produced and promoted. Does the minister believe it's appropriate public broadcasters attempt to strong-arm public officials in this way, and would the minister personally accept similar legal action targeting him, given his recent criticisms of the conduct of experienced journalists in another public broadcaster, the ABC? And on this point, I ask, why does he feel it's more important to object to the way that Emma Alberici and Lee Sales hold public officials to account on their respective programs, but then claim he can't influence the decisions of the SBS board when they blatantly demean and ridicule my constituents, some of them in personally vulnerable circumstances, in the way they did via their promotions for Struggle Street? I just want to um, uh, remind the honourable member of a provision in the SBS Act, 11 section, subsection 11, 11, subsection 3. The minister must not give a direction in relation to the content or sh scheduling of programs to be broadcast. The Act makes it very clear that it is the SBS board, not the parliament or the minister, which is responsible for programming and editorial decisions. It's the duty of the board, uh, the SBS board, to ensure by means of its programming policies, that the gathering and presentation by the SBS of news and information is accurate and is balanced over time and across the schedule of programs broadcast, and to be aware of and responsive to community needs and opinions on matters relevant to the Charter. Now, that's the context in which we are operating. So, um, you know, it, it's the, the honourable member is entitled to, to ask me to, if he wishes, to intervene with the editorial decisions or programming decisions of the SBS, but he knows very well that this is just a rhetorical point. I have no power to do so, nor should I have any power to do so. And the same applies to the ABC. And as I've said many times, um, the, the media policies of Vladimir Putin are no more admirable than his foreign policy. We don't want to have, we don't want to be living in a country where the government of the day can direct the public broadcasters uh, as to what to say. Now, having said that, the boards are responsible uh, to manage their services. They do have, and I'm talking about both public broadcasters now, they do have an obligation to make sure that their news and current affairs are accurate and impartial. Um, they do have an obligation to comply with their charter and the various broadcasting codes. And uh, I understand and I um, uh, and I, I empathise with what the Honourable Member has said about the resentment in his community about uh, Struggle Street. Uh, it was a very, was a, was a very hard-hitting program. Um, it was, uh, it was, I would say, its critical review was overall very positive. Uh, but if uh, any people uh, portrayed in the in the documentary uh, or the representatives believe that there's been breach of standards or codes. Or SBS's charter, then they should complain to the SBS, and if they're not happy with that, of course, go to ACMA. Uh, it's just, I, I, I mean, I get, as the minister, as, as honourable members would imagine, I get hundreds of emails urging me to do something 
often quite contradictory things to the ABC or SBS. Sometimes I get an email saying that no, they've been too far to the left, followed by one saying they've been too far to the right. I get the full gamut, and the answer is always the same. Now, uh, I do think I, I would say though that the boards have to take their responsibilities uh, very seriously. Now, 